Imagine a plant, what comes to mind? Perhaps lush green leaves, vibrant flowers, or the sweet scent of nectar. Now picture this, a plant that craves not sunlight and water, but flesh. Carnivorous plants, these botanical anomalies, turn the tables on the animal kingdom. They lure, trap, and devour unsuspecting prey, defying our very perception of plants as passive organisms. Charles Darwin himself was enamored by their intricate mechanisms, dedicating years to studying and unraveling their secrets. Carnivorous plants typically inhabit nutrient-poor habitats like bogs, swamps, and rocky outcrops. Faced with this nutritional scarcity, these botanical masterminds turn to an unconventional source animals. Over millions of years they evolved ingenious ways to attract, capture, and digest prey, transforming their leaves into deadly traps. From the lightning-fast snap of the Venus flytrap to the seductive aroma of pitcher plants, each species boasts a unique strategy for securing its next meal. No other carnivorous plant captures the imagination quite like the Venus flytrap, Dionaea muscipula. Hailing from the subtropical wetlands of North and South Carolina, this botanical celebrity is a true marvel of evolution. Its modified leaves resembling gaping jaws are lined with sensitive trigger hairs. When an unsuspecting insect lured by the sweet nectar secreted within the trap brushes against these hairs, it sets off a deadly chain reaction. The trap snaps shut in the blink of an eye, the interlocking teeth on its margins preventing escape. Enzymes are then released, breaking down the insect's soft tissues, turning its body into a nutritious soup that the plant absorbs. This gruesome feast provides the Venus flytrap with the vital nutrients it needs to thrive in its nutrient-poor environment. Raindrops or debris falling into the trap won't trigger it. Only when a potential meal touches two trigger hairs in quick succession, or a single hair twice, does the trap spring shut. Sundews, Drosera, with over 200 species scattered across the globe, are masters of deception. Their leaves, often resembling delicate dewdrops glistening in the sun, are anything but innocent. These glistening beads are in fact, deadly traps, each tipped with a sticky mucilage that spells doom for unsuspecting insects. Attracted by the sundew's vibrant colors and the promise of a sugary treat, insects land on the leaves, only to find themselves hopelessly stuck. The sundew, sensing its prey's futile attempts to escape, slowly curls its leaf inward, further tightening its grip. As the insect weakens, digestive enzymes secreted by the sundew's glands break down its body, turning it into a nutrient-rich broth. Some species, like the cape sundew, Drosera capensis, have long, tentacle-like leaves that can curl around prey in seconds. Imagine a plant with leaves shaped like elegant pitchers, their alluring colors and sweet scents beckoning thirsty travelers. Now, picture these pitchers filled not with refreshing water, but with a deadly digestive fluid. This is the reality for unsuspecting insects that stumble upon pitcher plants, Nepenthes, Saracenia, Darlingtonia, and others. These botanical predators have turned their leaves into pitfall traps, luring prey with a combination of visual cues, nectar bribes, and intoxicating scents. The rims of their pitchers are often slippery, causing insects to lose their footing and tumble into the digestive fluid below. Downward pointing hairs lining the inner walls of the pitcher prevent escape, ensuring the insect's grim fate. Some species like the monkey cup pitcher plant, Nepenthes raja, have pitchers so large they can even trap small vertebrates like frogs and rodents. Butterworts or pinguicula may appear unassuming at first glance with their delicate rosette-shaped leaves blending seamlessly into their surroundings. But, beneath their innocent facade lies a ruthless predator. Their leaves are covered in microscopic glandular hairs that secrete a sticky mucilage, effectively transforming them into natural flypaper. When an unsuspecting insect, lured by the glistening surface of the leaves, lands on the butterwort, it becomes hopelessly stuck. The plant's glandular hairs release additional mucilage upon contact, further ensnaring the prey. As the insect struggles it triggers the butterwort's digestive glands to secrete enzymes that break down its soft tissues. The plant then absorbs the nutrient-rich soup, supplementing its diet with the essential nutrients lacking in its environment. Some butterwort species like the Mexican butterwort, Pinguicula morinensis, have developed a unique adaptation called thigmotropism. While most carnivorous plants lure their prey above ground, bladderworts or utricularia have mastered the art of underwater entrapment. These fascinating plants found in freshwater habitats worldwide possess intricate bladder-like traps on their submerged leaves. Each bladder has a small opening sealed by a trap door, surrounded by sensitive trigger hairs. When a tiny aquatic creature, such as a water flea or mosquito larva, brushes against these hairs, it triggers a rapid change in water pressure within the bladder. The trap door flings open, sucking in the unsuspecting prey along with a rush of water. The entire process happens in a fraction of a second, making bladderworts one of the fastest trapping plants on Earth. Once trapped inside the bladder, the prey is digested by enzymes, providing the plant with essential nutrients. Some bladderwort species like the humped bladderwort, Utricularia gibba, 
can even reproduce asexually through fragmentation. In the intricate world of carnivorous plants, lobster pot traps stand out as a testament to nature's ingenuity. These intricate traps, found in corkscrew plants, genlisi, and some pitcher plant species, employ a devious one-way system to ensnare their prey. The traps consist of a series of inward-pointing hairs or bristles that guide unsuspecting prey towards the plant's digestive organs while preventing escape. Corkscrew plants, native to nutrient-poor regions of Africa and South America, have modified underground leaves that resemble a lobster pot's design. Once these microscopic creatures enter the trap, they are funneled towards a digestive chamber, where enzymes break down their bodies, providing the plant with essential nutrients. Some pitcher plant species, like the parrot pitcher plant, Saracenia citicina, also employ a lobster pot mechanism. Their pitchers have a narrow opening and inward pointing hairs that prevent insects from escaping once they've ventured inside. Carnivorous plants have evolved remarkable adaptations to thrive in some of the harshest environments on Earth. Their ability to supplement their diet with animal prey allows them to flourish in nutrient-poor habitats where most other plants struggle to survive. These botanical marvels have developed intricate trapping mechanisms, ranging from the lightning-fast snap of the Venus flytrap to the seductive aroma of pitcher plants, each tailored to capture specific prey. Some carnivorous plants, like sundews, have evolved sticky mucilage that not only traps prey but also prevents fungal growth. Others, like bladderworts, have developed specialized enzymes that can break down the tough exoskeletons of insects. Carnivorous plants can be found on every continent except Antarctica, from tropical rainforests to temperate bogs. Their resilience and adaptability make them fascinating subjects of study for scientists and nature enthusiasts alike. Carnivorous plants, despite their macabre feeding habits, play a vital role in maintaining the delicate balance of their ecosystems. As predators, they help regulate populations of insects and other invertebrates, preventing outbreaks that could disrupt the delicate web of life. In nutrient-poor environments, carnivorous plants provide a valuable source of nutrients for other organisms. Their decaying pitchers and leaves release nitrogen and phosphorus into the surrounding soil, enriching it and supporting the growth of other plant species. Some animals have formed unique relationships with carnivorous plants. Certain frogs, for example, lay their eggs inside pitcher plants, taking advantage of the nutrient-rich fluid and protection from predators. The presence of carnivorous plants can increase biodiversity in an area. Despite their remarkable adaptations, carnivorous plants face an uncertain future. Habitat loss due to human activities, such as agriculture, urbanization and pollution, poses the greatest threat to their survival. As wetlands are drained and forests are cleared, carnivorous plants lose the very environments they depend on. Climate change also poses a significant threat, altering rainfall patterns and increasing the frequency of droughts and wildfires, further degrading their fragile habitats. Poaching is another concern particularly for rare and sought-after species like the Venus flytrap. Illegal collection and trade of these plants can decimate wild populations. Conservation efforts are crucial to ensuring the survival of these fascinating and ecologically important plants. The fascinating world of carnivorous plants with their intricate traps and macabre appetites offers a glimpse into the boundless creativity of nature. But these botanical marvels are under threat, their very survival hanging in the balance. It is our responsibility to ensure these fascinating and ecologically important plants continue to thrive for generations to come. Support organizations dedicated to protecting carnivorous plant habitats. Educate yourself and others about the threats they face and the importance of their conservation. Consider growing carnivorous plants in your own home or garden. The future of carnivorous plants lies in our hands.